tutorial, we will show you five steps to get started on UBC Blogs, which are sign up for UBC Blogs, create a blog, choose a theme, orient yourself to dashboard menu and options, and creating your first post. Now, first step is to sign up for UBC Blog. Click on the CWL login beside the sign up and login with your CWL. And now you have signed up for UBC Blogs. Hover on UBC Blogs and click on Visit Site. And now you can see the options. The next step is to create your own blog. Click on the Create a Website link. I already have a site, so the list of the sites show up here. And the site name, create the URL of the blog. You won't be able to change the URL of the blog later on, so be wise about it. And also don't use capital letter in the URL. And the site title, enter the title of the blog. I will call my site UBC Blogs Sandbox. You can change the title of the blog anytime. You can also choose the site language to be in English or French. And the privacy, you can choose if you want your site to be searchable on search engines like Google. You can change these options anytime. For now, I'll choose no. Now I have my own site. Click on the URL of the blog and you can see how your site is like. So this is my site. This is not the only theme that UBC blogs have. There are tons of themes that you can use. Click on customize from the top bar. Beside active theme, click on change. So you can see there are tons of themes that you can choose from. Click on live preview to see what the theme is like. And then if you like the theme, click on save and active. And here's my new theme. So how do I edit the blog that I have created? We will show you what's there on the dashboard first. Hover on the name of your site and click on dashboard. This is a post. This is a page. These two are very similar but different. Posts are ideal for creating dynamic content, meaning the content is updated frequently. It is mainly used for things like blog posts or diaries. Each post has a timestamp on it, so viewers will be able to see when this blog post is published. You can also tag and categorize blog posts. Pages, on the other hand, are ideal for creating st static content. So for example, about us or contact us page. You cannot tag and categorize like posts. And depending on theme, sometimes it allows you to change the layout of the page, which is pretty neat. And now I'm going to show you media. Media is the place where you can access all the photos or images that is uploaded to blogs. Right now, I haven't uploaded any images to blog, so it says no media file found. But if you have uploaded images, all the images will show up here. Comments is a place where you can see all the comments that are posted to the site. If you find a spam, you can hover on the comment and click on spam to remove the spam. And I go to appearance. Appearance is an option that allows you to customize the site. There's theme where you can change the theme of the blog. Customize where we can both change the theme of the blog and the detail of the site. Widget is where you can edit the sidebar on the site. So for example, in this theme, the sidebar is located here and in the widget option, there's footer options. So these are going to show up in the bottom of the page. Menus is the navigation of the site. In this theme that I'm using, it is this area of the site. You will be adding an existing pages to the menu so that people can access to your pages from the menus. And header will allow you to change the header image of the site. And background will allow you to change the background of the site. You can play around with it. Now plugins. Plugins is more for advanced users. You can activate the plugin so that it will give you extra functionality to the site. For example, if you are familiar with CSS, you can activate simpler CSS on the site so, so that you can add custom CSS on the site. User is where you'll be adding administrator to the site. If you want to add your classmate to the site, you can just add him or her as an editor or administrator to the blog. Tools is one of the features that you'll be using less frequently. You can delete your own site or you can export or import WordPress XML file. 
and setting is where you can change the number of the options of the blog. This includes comment setting, changing site title, changing site visibility, and many other things that you can do. So how do I add a new post? Hover on post and click on add new. Enter the title of the blog. In WordPress, there's visual mode and text editor mode. Visual editor gives you interface that is somewhat similar to Microsoft Word or Google Doc. So I type in my content and bold it. You can even italicize or make some bulleted list. And you can add the link to another page. And you can even insert images. And when you upload an image, make sure the image is either your own work or you have permission to use this. You can add a caption or add alt text. Text mode, on the other hand, will allow you to add things in HTML. So if you are familiar with HTML, you might prefer to use it in text mode. And if you click on screen options, you can click on more options. So I'm going to activate excerpt. You can type in the summary of the blog post to excerpt so that when people find your site in search engines, they will know what this blog post is about. If you are not going to put anything on excerpt, the excerpt will be auto-generated. You can also choose to categorize or tag your blog post. Adding a category and tags will make your blog post more findable to people. Adding a feature images on the blog post will make your blog look nicer depending on theme. For example, if I add the feature images, and again, making sure that I'm using my own images or took permission of the images or used Creative Commons license images. Publish the blog post if you are happy about the content of the post. And you can view the post. And you can see my featured images here. And you can see my blog here. And there are a lot more things you can do in UBC Blocks. You can visit the UBC Blog sites to learn more about how to use UBC Blog. Now, this is the end of the tutorial. See you next time. <laughs>